Your connection starts with a DNS request, a DNS response, and there comes the TCP three-way handshake. And when it's done, you send an HTTP GET request. The basic denial of service attack works on the TCP three-way handshake. That starts when the client sends a TCP SYN, the server sends a TCP SYN ACK, and then again the client sends an ACK, a TCP packet with the ACK flag on. Now on a denial of service, a hacker sends a TCP SYN, the server sends back a TCP SYN ACK, and the hacker doesn't send back the TCP ACK. That connection is known as half-open connection. Now, it has limitations in terms of time. It has limitations in terms of buffering, the server's buffer. But when that happens, quite fast, our server will not accept any more connections. So what do you do and how do you protect your servers from SYN flowed attack? Half open connections are happening all the time. It can happen due to congestion in the network, due to bad connectivity. It even happens due to different applications that behave so. But you can limit the timers, the time that your server will wait for a TCP SYN ACK. So let's just see how we do it. We go to our CLI, Config System Global. And now you can set the TCP half closed timer and half open timer. The half closed timer actually tells our FortiGate you can terminate sessions that are waiting for TCP packets with the fin flag that is set to on. Now the half open timer is what we have just saw. Our FortiGate actually waits for the TCP act that is coming from the client and is actually the last step in the three-way handshake. So you can set different timers that is according to your network behavior. Another thing you can do is actually go to the policy and objects, IPv4 denial of service policy. Just choose your interface. It will probably be the WAN interface. And there you can set the rate of the TCP SYN float. That is, set the maximum SYN packets rate for one second. Currently, the threshold is 2000. You can set it to 1000 packets. You can set it to 500 packets. You can set it to more. It all depends on your network behavior, on your server's behavior. You know it better than anyone. 